Hello Copyholics, today is the second installment to my presentation on how to make iced coffee drinks using espresso machines. Once again, we are going to make only four types, which are the classic milky coffee drinks, latte, cappuccino, mocha, and caramel macchiato. This time, we are going to make tall cups or 12 ounces cups. Tall is for Starbucks cup sizes. For the recipe, I am going to use my dark roast coffee beans, once again, I prefer dark roast for iced coffee. We are going to use fresh milk. For my milk syrup, I am going to make it less sweet because I'm using espresso shots. You'd really like to taste the beautiful taste of those espresso shots. So I'm going to use one can of evaporated milk and one can of condensed milk. If you'd like it to be more sweet, you can make two cans of condensed and one can of evaporated milk. That's my milk syrup. And then we are going to use um, caramel so syrup. For this time, I'm going to use the Monan caramel syrup. And for my mocha, I am going to use my unsweetened chocolate powder. And also, we are going to make use of my homemade caramel sauce for the topping and my homemade chocolate sauce for topping, caramel and chocolate. So these are the ingredients and for our espresso shots, I am going to explain one by one because these are very small si cup sizes. I am going to use the single basket and pull two shots of espresso. So single basket is about seven to nine grams of coffee and I'm going to pull two shots or 60 milliliters of coffee from this one. But for my cappuccino, it will also use two ounces or two shots, but I'm going to use a double basket. So that makes our coffee or the cappuccino stronger. And double basket is usually about 14 to 18 grams of coffee. So let's start by pulling our espresso shots and then we're going to assemble our drinks. I'm going to pour my coffee beans into my hopper. And uh, I always recommend that you get this sealer so that you, keep, you maintain the freshness of your coffee in your coffee bags. Okay, there you go. Let's start grinding our coffee. This is about 18 grams of ground coffee. I'm going to pull two double shot espresso. So my machine has got one, two, three, four shots, so I'm going to pull four, because two for each, okay? For this one, I'm going to pull only two shots. This is going to be for my cappuccino. And for my final drink, I am going to use a single basket, but I'm going to pull two shots of espresso because I need four of them. So this is about nine grams of coffee. And I'm going to pull two ounces or two shots of espresso. So now I have my four cups of espresso here. All three of them have got two shots of espresso using seven to nine grams of coffee and one which is the strongest one, also two shots, but I used double basket of 14 to 18 grams of coffee. We are going to use some milk foam, so I'll start by preparing my milk foam. and keep this chilled for later. Let's start with our cafe latte. For this, it is one ounce of fresh milk, 1.5 ounce of my half and half milk syrup. Stir to combine. Iced. and pour the espresso shots over.
ice cafe latte in 12 ounces cup. Next drink, it is cappuccino. For this, I am going to use my concentrated espresso shots, two ounces or two shots, and then 1.5 ounce of my milk syrup. And that's really it for your cappuccino. Really strong and smelling so gorgeous. Strong coffee. Third drink, it is our caramel macchiato. So for this, we are going to use two shots of espresso and we are going to put one ounce of milk syrup. One ounce of fresh milk. And half an ounce of caramel syrup. This is five ml, so I'm going to put three pumps. One, two, three pumps of caramel syrup. And that is our caramel macchiato. I've run out of my small ice cube, so it's a little bit bigger this time. And for our final drink, my two shots of espresso, two teaspoons of my unsweetened chocolate powder. Stir to dissolve the powder. Because my espresso is still hot, it will dissolve. I do everything very simple here. I just use a spoon to mix my ingredients. So this should be all dissolved. And then to this, I'm going to add one ounce of fresh milk and 1.5 ounce of milk syrup. There you go, four classic iced coffee drinks using espresso machine. I prefer this sizes actually. Um, to me, the perfect proportion is for the 16 ounces or 500 ml cups, but let's give this a try. Start with the latte. Perfect. Next is the cappuccino. I would think I would like this because, you know, it's a double shot of espresso in a small cup. That would be really strong. Mmm, very, very smooth. You can taste the coffee for sure. Next one, it is mocha, my favorite. Mmm, this is me, absolutely small cup and very, very rich taste of coffee and chocolate. And now using the caramel syrup from Monen, caramel macchiato. Wow. <laughs> the caramel taste of Monen is so strong, I must say. It almost overpowers the taste of the coffee, but um, I see many shops are using Monin. This is caramel coffee, not coffee caramel. But anyway, there you go, caramel macchiato. Mm. So what is my favorite among the four of them? Well, guess what? I don't have any favorite. I love all of them. I think this is the perfect size for me. Don't forget that you will find all the recipes that I have just shown you in my book, The Basic Barista. If you would like to order a copy, check the description box below. In the meantime, 
Don't forget to click that subscribe button below, like, comment, and share the love. Stay safe, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.